are you resolved with the help of God to undertake that life of perfect chastity, poverty, and obedience chosen for themselves by Christ our Lord and His Virgin Mother and to persevere in it forever? I am. I know it hurt you when I made my decision. I didn't want you to think that somehow God was taking me away from you. But you understood and you let me go. You had always loved me truly and deeply. And even then, Carmen, you were teaching me how to love. I am so thankful for what you have taught me about love. I am so thankful for your love. Since answering the call to Carmel, I have been trained and tested here in loving the one who called me. Though I may not hear his voice out loud, in the silence of my heart, I feel how he yearns for me. In the silence of prayer, Christ unveils his message of love, which I could not put in words, even if I tried. His love fills me and flows out towards my brothers at Carmel and the people we serve. Though we come from different lands, we are brought together by love. Though we speak different languages, we are united in the language of God's love. I have chosen to love and I offer my life to God who first loved me. And He sends this love to all who have become a part of my life. Thank you, Carmen, for accepting wholeheartedly my vocation to the religious life and to the priesthood. I am happy for you now. Your wedding is so soon. And yes, just like I promised, I myself will marry you at the shrine of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. I thought I had to give up love to enter religious life, but it is in religious life that love found me. You found me. Bro, congrats! Magpapatay na mo ng ilaw ah! Sige bro, magstay muna ako dito. And you? When will you answer the call of love? He loves us and He calls everyone because our vocation is love. I am.